Today we're going to look back at our uh, original Hello World code and we're going to make a very simple modification to it. Um, so I'm going to open up my text editor. I'm using Vim and I'll open up my Hello World code, which I called hello.c. And we got our include to include our header here. And then we start our main loop here. And basically we're just printing out on the screen using printf the words hello world and then backslash n for new line and then we return zero at the end of our function. So now if we save this and we compile it, so g++ uh, hello.c and then the output file we'll call hello. It's compiled, we didn't get any errors there. We can do dot slash hello and we get hello world out on the screen. But you notice it goes straight back to the command prompt there. If we wanted it to wait for a user to input information or hit a key on the keyboard, basically, what we can do is we can add another line here. We'll do another line that says printf. And then inside our parentheses, we'll do quotations, press any key to continue. And We'll do a new line there as well, backslash n. And then we'll add in this little command, get char for get character. So it's waiting for a character press to before it continues in the code. So get char uh, parentheses, both open and close, and then end that with a semicolon, which I forgot up here. Don't forget to end each line with a semicolon. We will save that. And we will recompile it with G++, the name of our C code, dash O for output, and the name of our output file here. Hit enter. We didn't get any errors. That's great. Dot slash hello. And now it says hello world. And it says press any key to continue. And it sits there and waits until I press a key on my keyboard. I'll hit enter. And you can see that it continued on there. So that is how you can have it wait for a user to press a key before it continues in the code. We can also modify that and we can add another print line after that. Uh, so I'm going to print F and I'll just say good job. Close that, close that. Do a semicolon there at the end of that. And we'll add a new line here as well. So we'll save all that. We will recompile it with G++ hello.c dash O for output. And our output file will be hello again. Dot slash hello. And it says hello world. Press any key to continue. I'll press spacebar this time. Oh, I guess it has to be enter you press there. Good to know. You press enter, so we should change it to say press enter to continue, and then it will continue in the code. So that is how you can have it wait to continue uh, when someone presses enter. So let's fix that real fast. We'll say press enter to continue. Save that, recompile it, run it again. Hello world, press enter to continue. Good job. So I'm glad I made that mistake so you guys can see the mistakes. I'm not as thoroughly knowledgeable with C as I am with Bash. So uh, uh, I hope I'm explaining this all well to you guys. And uh, visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.